Hey everyone, it's Sarah and today I am going to be talking about something that has been requested on both of my channels um, for a long time now and I just never really felt like it was a good fit but I'm just going to go ahead and uh, record this video for you guys because I know there has been a lot of interest in it and what I am talking about is my skincare. I get a lot of questions about what kinds of products I use on my skin, uh, what kind of a skincare routine I have and you will see that I don't actually have like any kind of a set routine, but I do use a ton of products. Um, I am not a skincare expert by any means. I'm just going to be sharing with you um, what I use, what I found that works for me, what kind of skin I have, and things like that. So I'm going to start this off by just kind of talking about my skin type and what kind of issues I'm dealing with. So I have a very, very sensitive, reactive skin type. You can see I've got some redness on my cheeks where I've just got like a touch of rosacea. Um, I think that that's probably my fault. I think that I've actually damaged my skin barrier with strong acids, uh, with like glyco like a really strong glycolic acids and things like that. And um, so I think that the redness is my fault. I'm not using strong acids like that anymore, but I have in the past. And um, yeah, my skin is just too sensitive for really strong acids. Um, I have a very dry skin type, so this time of year, like when I just got out of the shower a minute ago, I was just rubbing my finger on my dry forehead and it was just kicking up a ton of like just flaky skin because my skin is so dry. Um, it gets better in the summertime, especially here in the south because we have such high humidity here, which is really great for the skin. But um, I'm going to zoom you in. I'll show you kind of what I've got going on. Um, my skin breaks out very easily. If I use something on my skin that it doesn't like, I will typically break out. Um, I've got, I'm aging. I'm 41 years old, so I do have aging skin. I'm dealing with some fine lines. No real deep wrinkles yet, but um, I'm trying to stave that off for as long as I possibly can. So anyways, I'm gonna get you zoomed in here and I'll just kind of show you what my skin looks like. So you can see um, I've just got, this is just redness. It's not like a blemish or anything, but this is the kind of thing that happens when uh, I start using something that my skin does not agree with. I've got some hyperpigmentation going on. Um, the most being right here, this popped up when I was pregnant with my daughter. Um, but yeah, I do have hyperpigmentation going on. I've got redness around my nose, a lot of redness. Uh, and then the only real, I've got some fine lines in my forehead as you can see, but not, I've got a cat hair on me, not anything crazy, uh, just a little bit of fine lines. And then right here is where I've got like probably my biggest um, or the most wrinkles. It's the only place on my skin where I've got some wrinkles and you can see uh, they are quite deep. And I think that that is from years of when I worked at Starbucks drinking water through a straw. And I know that sounds crazy. I know that a lot of people recommend drinking through straws, especially like coffee and tea and things that are really staining on your teeth. But if you think about it, when you suck through a straw, um, that's basically the same thing as like a smoker's, how they suck and they always end up with like lines around their mouth. So I do not drink out of straws anymore. Um, I think that that's where that came from, from years and years of drinking out of straws. So I don't do straws anymore. But anyway, so that's what my skin kind of looks like. I mean, overall, it's pretty healthy. I'm, it's, you know, it doesn't look the best, but when I am able to even out my skin tone with foundation and makeup, I feel like my skin looks all right for my age. And so let me get you zoomed back out and let's start talking about some of the products that I really love using. Um, I'm going to start with makeup, or not makeup, I'm sorry. I'm going to start with cleansers. So a cleanser that I really, really love for removing makeup, and I don't use this every single night. I do always double cleanse, so I will always go in with two different cleansers, but I don't typically use like a cleansing cleansing balm every night, only if I'm wearing really heavy makeup, which is not terribly often. Um, but I love this Pharmacy Green Clean, and I just have a little baby right now because I just got like a little... Um, 
minis kit and this came in it and I really love this. This is probably my favorite cleansing balm. Uh, it's very, very effective at getting makeup off without leaving any kind of a film on your face after you rinse it off, which is what I really love. Um, I have used tons of cleansing balms and cleansing oils, and I really don't like it when they leave a film on your face that even when you go in with a second cleanse, uh, the second cleanser will not remove. You're left with like this filmy feeling. I don't like that. So I really, really enjoy um, this one because it's very balmy, oily, slippy feeling and it removes makeup really well without leaving that kind of yucky film on your face. It rinses away completely clean. So that's the first thing that I really, really love as far as a cleansing balm goes and that is pharmacy um, green clean makeup melt away cleansing balm and then the next I've got I've got four different cleansers here you guys so um, yeah these are all cleansers I love though so the first one is this one from you can get this off of iHerb which uh, if you which is like a um, it's a great website they carry a lot of really good stuff but this is a skin cleanser that I adore this is called Nutribiotic uh, this is for sensitive skin. This is a non-soap skin cleanser, gentle cleansing and fragrance-free formula with botanical extracts. It is hypoallergenic, pH balanced, and paraben free. I adore this cleanser, you guys. You can get this, like I say, on iHerb. It is very, very affordable, like six dollars I think and this is a huge bottle this is a 16 ounce bottle this does foam up but not it's not like a super super foamy cleanser um, but I go in with this one a lot to remove makeup and then I'll go in with a second cleanse or sometimes I'll go in with something else and then use this as a second cleanse um, it removes makeup really well it's just a really really great cleanser if you have sensitive or reactive skin. I adore this and for the price you cannot beat it. Mine's almost out. I need to order another one but in fact I'll probably order two so that I always have a backup. It's a wonderful cleanser. Um, also would be really good for like your first morning cleanse because it's really gentle. Um, so yeah I adore this. So that again is the Nutribiotic Sensitive Skin Skin Cleanser. Okay so um, another cleanser of I love all of these cleansers too. These are just great. This is a newer one that I just picked up um, when Ulta was doing their fall haul sale. This is a cleanser from this brand called Tula Skincare. This is the Cult Tula Classic. Skincare. Yeah. This is the Cult Classic Purifying Face Cleanser and it says probiotics and superfoods. Um, I went through a little sample of a moisturizer from this brand and I loved it. It was so, so nice. Um, so I picked this up because it was on sale for $15 during the fall haul and um, this one says the cult favorite cleanser for clean and fresh skin this probiotic gel based cleanser removes dirt impurities and makeup gently and effectively skin is left looking balanced clarified and prepped for skincare use morning and night uh, it's a really nice one now when I first got this and I first used this, I was really nervous because this is highly, highly fragranced. Um, let's see here if it has fragrance in here. Yeah, I don't see where this uh, has fragrance in the ingredients list, so the fragrance must just be from all of the different oils and things, um, just from the natural ingredients, but I was nervous about this one when I got it too because this does have lemon oil um, and orange oil, and my, I cannot use any kind of uh, essential oils on my skin. It's, they're very, very irritating to me. So I was nervous, but this one um, has been great. It hasn't bothered my skin. It hasn't broken my skin out. Um, it hasn't irritated or inflamed anything. So it's really nice. This is another one that foams up. It is a kind of a gel-like consistency. Um, and this one's really great for it'll remove makeup. It would be another one that would be good for a morning cleanse. Um, just a really good all-around cleanser. So anyways, that is Tula Skin Care, the Cult Classic Purifying Face Cleanser. That's a newer one to me. Okay, another uh, cleanser that I have that I absolutely adore is this cleanser from Belief, and this is Creamy Cleansing Foam Moist for Normal to Dry Skin. Um, our belief to gently yet 
yet effectively wash away impurities for use on all skin types. This creamy foam type cleanser is formulated with soapboard extract and wormwood extract. Fortified with 20% glycerin, this cleanser leaves skin feeling clean, soft, and conditioned. This one is great for dry skin. This is a super thick, dense foam cleanser. And when I say you literally need the smallest amount, this is gonna last me absolutely forever because I only have to put maybe the, like not even, I mean, I don't even know how to explain it. Maybe like the size of two pinheads. Seriously, the smallest amount you c will create the thickest, most dense lather. Um, I use this one a lot for my second cleanse. So I'll go in with like the Tula or the Nutribiotic first, and then I'll go in with this one for my second cleanse a lot because this one foams up so much that I really feel like it gets in there and really cleans without stripping my skin. It's like a really creamy, moist type lather too. So I just love this one. This is a really, really great cleanser and I'm so happy that Belief is available at Ulta now so that you can buy these products and get points. It's just wonderful. So anyways, that is Belief Creamy Cleansing Foam Moist. Um, and then this next one, you guys, this is a new one too that I just picked up, but I am head over heels in love with this cleanser. Um, this I found in the sale section on Sephora. This is an Indie Lee cleanser, and this is the Rose Hip Cleanser. This is like a gel oil cleanser, if that makes any sense. Like, it's hard to describe this. It's more of like a gel cleanser, though. Um, it says Soothe and Nourish, and this one, you only need one pump and it lathers up really well too. I love using this one in the morning or if I don't have makeup on my face, but I'm gonna wash my face, like I'll probably use this tonight when I wash my face to go to bed. Um, it's just wonderful. It's got rosehip oil in it, which is one of my all time favorite and most used uh, skincare ingredients. And I just adore this cleanser. It's so nice. You could use it as a, uh, you could use it to take off makeup, like you could, it's just a great all-around cleanser. Um, I use this a lot for a second cleanser when I cleanse um, at night. It's just so good. And like I say, um, one pump is enough and this is gonna last me a really long time and I'm so glad that I found it and it was only like $20 on Sephora's website. So I don't know if they still have it or if it's still in stock or if it's still on sale, but um, it's a wonderful cleanser. So that is Indie Lee Rose Hip Cleanser. So those are all of my favorite cleansers. I love every single one of them. They're all really, really good, and I would highly recommend any of them. Um, let's move on to some serums. So I have got a lot of serums here because there are some things that I just really, really adore. One of my favorite ingredients ever is niacinamide and Makeup Revolution or Revolution Skincare makes a super strength 15% niacinamide serum, serum and this is what it looks like and I use this uh, I, pro I use this about three times a week usually sometimes even more depending on okay. Yes, um, sometimes I'll use this even more than three times a week. It just depends on how my skin is doing. Niacinamide is good for uh, discoloration and dark spots too, so it's just really great. And I use this mostly because uh, niacinamide is really good for helping to keep my skin clear so without being harsh. Uh, so I do use this a lot for just overall helping to keep my skin clear and I love it. I love this ingredient. Anytime I see it as like high up on the ingredients list in skincare, I pick it up because I just really, really enjoy niacinamide. Like I say, it really helps to keep my skin clear without being irritating in any way. So that is the Revolution Skincare 15% Niacinamide uh, Super Strength Formula Blemish Refining and Moisturizing Serum. Uh, sticking with Revolution, I also have this. I just picked this up not too terribly long ago, I think during the fall haul, um, the Ulta fall haul, and this is Revolution Skincare uh, 
0.5% retinol with rosehip seed oil. So retinol is another ingredient that I absolutely swear by. I love it. I feel like that's probably what's keeping my skin um, young. The, the fact that I've been using retinol pretty regularly for probably the last five years or so. Um, but yeah, I just love this. And I love it that it's in rosehip seed oil because ro rosehip seed oil really is the only oil that does not break my skin out, that I can use that really doesn't break my skin out. Um, an oil that I can apply directly to my face that does not irritate it, my skin, it doesn't clog pores, it doesn't do anything. Um, it's just supposed to be a really great anti-aging skin oil. So I adore it. This is a great, great retinol serum. Uh, and again, this is Revolution 0.5% retinol with rosehip seed oil. Uh, speaking of rosehip seed oil, I've got a couple different ones, but this, but my other one, I've, I've got a rosehip seed oil from The Ordinary, which is a great one. This one I picked up at TJ Maxx because I had picked this up from Amazon before, and um, I like organic, I like my rosehip seed oils to be organic, um, and this is Life Flow Pure Rosehip Seed Oil. Uh, cold pressed organic and I love this one. This is a really great uh, rosehip seed oil and I use this every single day, twice a day. I put it, uh, I mix it into my moisturizer in the morning and I mix it into uh, my moisturizer or I will go directly on top of a serum sometimes with just oil just depending on what I feel like my skin needs. This is a great anti-aging oil and just really great for moisture um, without being irritating or pore clogging. So that is Life Flow Pure Rosehip Seed Oil. Okay, and then I've got some kind of treatment serums here. The first one I'm going to talk about is from Mad Hippie, and this is a vitamin A serum. Uh, vitamin A, I think, is what retinol is. I think, um, or I think retinol is a form of vitamin A, if I'm not mistaken. I can't remember totally, but I think so. And this is just a nice, um, it's creamy, as you can see. It, I need to get a new one. Uh, these are available at Ulta as well, this brand, uh, Mad Hippie. And you, I try to catch this when it's on sale because this one's a little pricey. It's like $25, I think. Um, but it's just a really, really nice moisturizing serum, um, anti-aging moisturizing serum that doesn't bother my skin. And then I've got a serum here from Good Molecules and I have been using this recently. Um, I was scared to introduce this into my skincare because um, I'm always scared to introduce anything new because my skin is so reactive and I'm always like, oh my gosh, am I in the mood to deal with a breakout and having to fix my skin if something doesn't work? But this, I'm telling you, is wonderful. It has not broken my skin out at all. In fact, I feel like it's like the niacinamide serum where if I put it on, um, it actually clears my skin up or helps to clear my skin up. This is the Good Molecules Discoloration Correcting Serum and uh, this is wonderful. I'm really, really into this right now. I have only used it down to here so I couldn't give you like I can't give you any good feedback as to whether it helps with discoloration, but I think that it is helping um, because this melasma right here above my cheek used to be a lot darker than it is and it's really, really lightened up a lot since I've been using this regularly. Um, so, and this little spot has gotten dark again and I think it's because when I'm driving home from work just the way that the sun is right now is constantly like beating down on this side of my face and I try to use my sun visor to like you know block the sun off but it's it doesn't necessarily go that far down so um, I think that why this that's why this one has gotten a little bit darker recently um, but I'm gonna really go in hard with this on that spot to see if I can get it to lighten up a little bit. But yeah, I've really, really been enjoying this Good Molecule Serum. Again, that is the Discoloration Correcting Serum. 
And then I've got a couple things from The Ordinary here. This is The Ordinary's niacinamide, and this is a 10% uh, niacinamide and 1% zinc, high strength vitamin and mineral blemish formula. Um, I love this one. This is the one I've been through countless bottles of this niacinamide from The Ordinary, but when I found the Revolution Skincare 15% uh, Super Strength, I went ahead and went with this one, which I will probably continue to use the higher strength one um, just because it's about the same price and, um, or maybe it's a little bit more expensive than this one, but it's easier for me to get this one because I can pick it up at Ulta instead of having to order from, well, I can pick this up at Ulta too, but um, yeah, I think I just prefer, prefer the Revolution one because it's a little bit stronger, but this is a great one. Um, this is a really good one to start with if you want to try niacinamide. Um, this is a really great one to start with. So that is the Ordinary Niacinamide 10%, Zinc 1%. And then another uh, Ordinary Serum that I really love using is their Lactic Acid. Uh, so this is a 10% Lactic Acid with Hyaluronic Acid as well. Um, it says a high strength Lactic Acid su Superficial Peeling Formulation. This is great for uh, chemical exfoliation which I need to be using this more right now because my skin is flaking so bad and like I just keep putting slapping moisturizer on it and I need to really be going in with lactic acid to try to um, exfoliate that skin off but this is a great one. Um, it's a little bit moisturizing. It's not harsh at all. I don't feel like this one is like harming my skin in any way or damaging my skin barrier or anything like that. So um, I really, really enjoy this one. They do make a lower percentage one too if you are if you haven't um, used lactic acid before. I think they make like a 5% one that you can really kind of go in easy with. So that is the Ordinary Lactic Acid. I really, really love that one. And then last but not least, I have a skincare item here from 4th Ray Beauty. And this is the one and only skincare item from 4th Ray that I have ever used. This is the Chamomile Face Milk. And I use this more as a primer under my makeup, especially this time of year. Uh, this adds a really beautiful layer of hydration and glow under my skin, sorry, under my skincare that I really, really love. Uh, this one kind of sits on top of my skin a little bit more, which I is fine with me because that's really what I'm using it for is moisture and glow. Um, but yeah, I really enjoy this one. This is chamomile and this was the one that I chose because it had like the least amount of anything that I felt was going to be, uh, you know, was going to make my skin react or make my skin that, uh, or they had the least amount of ingredients that I felt like my skin wouldn't like. So, and this has really been working for me. I've really, really been enjoying this. Um, so that is the Fourth Ray Beauty Chamomile Face Milk. Oh, shoot, I forgot a cleanser. Oh my gosh, and I have to tell you about this one because I'm almost out of it and I'm so sad. Okay, this is from Cora Organics and you can see um, this is available on, whoa, this is available on Sephora's website. I picked this up from TJ Maxx for $7.99. And had I known how much I was gonna fall in love with this cleanser, I would have picked up every single one that they had because this is expensive. It's like over 30 bucks on Sephora's website. But this is a sensitive skin gentle cleanser. Uh, this is made with organic noni oil, chamomile, calendula extracts, and avocado oil. Um, this I use in the shower first thing in the morning. It's a wonderful, creamy, non-foaming uh, cleanser that really leaves my skin feeling nice and hydrated. Um, it's for sensitive skin, so it definitely never broke me out. It's never irritated my skin in any way, and I adore this stuff. Um, it was on sale at Sephora for like 21 bucks, and I even would have paid that for it, but by the time I found it on sale, it had sold out, it was out of stock. So I'm hoping I come across it at TJ Maxx again, because if I do, I will buy every single one they have. It's such a lovely cleanser if you have sensitive dry skin. Uh, so that is the Cora Organics Gentle Cleanser for sensitive skin. Can't believe I almost forgot that one. 
Okay, let's move on to some uh, treatments and then we'll go to moisturizers and then masks. So I've got a couple treatments that I'd like to use. Um, this first one is Pharmacy Honeymoon Glow. This is an AHA uh, resurfacing night serum with hydrating honey and gentle flower acids. So AHA is alpha hydroxy acids um, and BHA is beta hydroxy acids, I think. But um, this one, I didn't actually seek this out. This came in a BoxyCharm when I still subscribed to it. And um, I've really enjoyed this. It's just a really nice lactic acid serum. It's a little bit creamier and more moisturizing than the ordinary one. Um, so yeah, I, I enjoy both of these though. They're really great uh, for, the, and this one I don't need to use a moisturizer with because it's so moisturizing. It's like lactic acid suspended in, in like a moisturizer, in like a light moisturizer. Um, so yeah, I don't even need to use moisturizer with this. So a lot of times I'll go in with this and then I'll put an oil, like some rosehip oil right over the top of it. Um, and it's just really, really nice. So that is Pharmacy Honeymoon Glow. And then if I get like a really bad breakout or if I feel like I just need to really get a good like exfoliation. I will go in with Differin Gel, and this is just a 0.1% um, Adapalene, and this is marketed as an acne treatment, but it's a super strong retinol treatment, and it does help with acne. Um, if I'm breaking out pretty badly, I'll go in with this to clear it up. Um, this is strong though, and this will make your skin flake if you use it uh, like regularly every single day. So it is very drying, but I really enjoy this. Um, and I use this like a treatment. Like I say, I don't go in with this every single day because it's quite drying, um, but I do use it, you know, just whenever I feel like I need to. So that is different gel uh, Adapalene. And then moving on to some moisturizers. So. Uh, I'll start with a sunblock that I really, really love. This is a Shiseido sunblock, and I picked this up off of either Amazon or eBay, and it did ship from Japan. Um, it, this is an SPF 50 plus, and it's just a great sunblock. So yeah, this is just a really great sunblock, and I'll show you. It's definitely got a little bit of that sunblocky feel to it, but it's not too bad. It's um, it does it definitely doesn't leave like a white cast or anything. Um, it's just a really nice. It's like the best facial sunblock I've ever found. So uh, that's what it looks like, and then it just kind of. And I do like it because it leaves like a little bit of a glow on your skin, but it's very thin. It sinks right into your skin. It's just a really really nice. Look at that super nice facial sunblock. So that is um, Shiseido SPF 50 plus sunblock and you can find that on Amazon. Um, I think I got mine on Amazon. And then another moisturizer that I adore and this has uh, SPF 47 broad spectrum uh, sunscreen in it. This is just a little baby and I'm glad I found this at TJ Maxx. Um, for like $3.99 or something for this little trial size, which I was super happy to have found because it, I was able to test it before um, I bought a big bottle of it because I didn't know if this was gonna break my skin out. I am so happy to say this has not broken my skin out at all or made it, I, just, I love this, I adore this moisturizer. This is a wonderful, probably the best like sunscreen moisturizer I've ever found. It's such a good one. When I'm done with this little one, I will definitely be buying a full bottle of this and this will be my daytime moisturizer. It is super nourishing, glowy and beautiful, but has a really high SPF in it. They also make a tinted version of this, which is great if you, because this one is, um, it's, this one is quite, light, like white, you can see, um, and it's, it definitely leaves, like once you rub it in, it's not too bad, but, but you can see it definitely 
has like a lightness to it. So I think that the tinted version would be really nice to have. Um, especially, you know, if you have darker skin, that tinted version would probably be way better. Um, but it's just a really, really nice moisturizer, like high SPF moisturizer. I adore it so much. So that is the Josie Marin Argan Daily Moisturizer SPF 47. Really, really nice. And then uh, my everyday moisturizer that I have been using recently, and this is the second tub of this that I've gone through. I, I really do enjoy this. I pick it up when it's on sale at Ulta, um, which they usually do put this in like their 21 days of beauty sales. This is usually in there and I usually pick it up then and it's like 20 bucks or 20, $22 or something. This is the It Cosmetics Confidence in a Cream. This is for all skin types. Transforming Moisturizing Super Cream Anti-Aging Armor Rejuvenating Concentrates. Um, this is just a really nice, pretty thick uh, daily moisturizer. So I really, really like this. And I've been using this and then putting a couple drops of my rosehip seed oil in it. And it just uh, moisturizes really nicely. That's what I've got on my skin right now is this with a couple drops of... Um, Actually, I've got niacinamide first, and then I've got this with a couple drops of rosehip seed oil, and it's just a really nice, um, kind of glowy moisturizer. And then I picked this one up because they had this on sale during the uh, Ulta's Fall Haul sale, and this is the it, Co it Cosmetics Confident in Your Beauty Sleep for All Skin Types Skin Transforming pillow cream rest and restore technology so this one um, I really like this too this is a like a night cream uh, this one is a very odd consistency it's whoa oh it didn't come out it's kind of like a gel cream so it's kind of like a cross between a gel moisturizer and a cream moisturizer um, but it's still really, really moisturizing, but I think that um, for really, really dry skin types, this might not be moisturizing enough for you. I use it with oils and things, so it's fine for me, but um, if you're somebody that just relies on moisturizer, this one, it might not be as moisturizing as you would want it because it, like I say, it's a cross between like a gel and a cream. Um, I still really like it though. This one though, and I usually don't care at all about the smell of skincare. I don't like fragrance in my skincare at all. So if the natural ingredients just happen to smell bad, so be it. I really don't care. Um, I would literally put like cow manure on my face if it were going to keep wrinkles away for real. But um, this one really smells not good to me. I think it's supposed to have like a calming fragrance to it. But I don't know. There's something about it that I just really really don't like not that I really care but uh, just just as a note as a side note it just doesn't smell good to me but anyways that is the it cosmetics confidence in your beauty sleep uh, for all skin types cream and I have been enjoying that and then uh, what I use like three or four times a week at night has been this glow recipe avocado melt retinol sleeping mask and I use this just like a moisturizer, so um, yeah, in place of, even though it says it's a sleeping mask, I just use, use it like a moisturizer. Um, this is a really, like, what's the word? This is a really gentle type retinol. Um, it's, I think it's like a retinol alternative, so it's more of like a plant-based retinol. Um, and it is really, really gentle. So for people that are sensitive to maybe a higher percentage retinol or like the stronger retinols, you might really like this because this is super moisturizing, really, really nice, but it's not like a super strong retinol. Um, I don't really see any, like a ton of anti-aging benefits from this, but I really, really like it. It's very, very moisturizing, and for those nights that I really don't want to put on like a heavy uh, or a strong retinol, this I feel like is a really nice kind of 
break for my skin so uh, it doesn't break me out it's really really moisturizing and like I say very gentle um, so that is the glow recipe avocado melt retinol sleeping mask and then last but not least I've got uh, some masks here that I really really like so if I um, feel like I need a really deep clean to my skin, like if I've been wearing heavy makeup for like days in a row and I feel like I just need my skin to be like really deeply cleansed, um, I go in with this Dr. Jart Dermaclear Trans Foam Clay and this is the white one. Um, there are three different ones and I have the white one here because this is a this is the mild one. This is clay to foam transforming texture, mild purifying with French white clay. Uh, this one is really, really gentle on your skin. It's like a clay mask um, and it dries down like a clay mask, but it's wonderful because after it dries down, you add a little water to it and then start scrubbing and it turns into a like really thick foam and it really, really helps to purify your skin without stripping it or making it feel really dry. It's just a really, really nice clay mask. So that is the Dr. Jart Dermaclear Trans Foam Clay in the white, white one. And then I've got another clay mask. This is probably my favorite clay mask of all time. This is the Now, um, this is Now, now Solutions, but it's like Now Foods, uh, that, that company. And this is a non-GMO uh, Moroccan red clay powder. This is um, for, this is a clay powder for sensitive skin types. And this is really, really nice. This one is a little bit, more intense than the white clay foam. This one dries down and it's one of those that like really, really makes your skin super tight. Um, and it really helps purify your skin without stripping it or drying it or making it feel tight after you rinse it off. It's really, really nice. Um, every time I use this, my skin glows the next day. It's just such a good clay mask, um, like my favorite clay mask of all time. So that is the Now Solutions Moroccan Red Clay Powder, and this can be found on iHerb as well. And then for some more moisturizing masks, um, I've got the Pharmacy Honey Potion Mask here. This one's really nice. You kind of put it on and then you start rubbing it around and it will turn white and it warms. Um, and then you leave it on for about 10 or 15 minutes and then rinse it off and it's supposed to be kind of moisturizing. Um, honey is antibacterial so it's good for blemishes and breakouts. And uh, I really like this. I don't find it overly moisturizing though. Like I don't really use this as a moisturizing mask. This is more of a like help get rid of blemishes. Um, type of mask and I don't use this that often, maybe like once a month or something because uh, my skin really, really does not like honey. Um, it will, if I use it, if I overuse it, it will make my skin break out. So uh, I really like this one, but it's not like my favorite thing in the world, um, nor is it really moisturizing. And then another one I've got, last but not least, this is the number seven Laboratories Sika Rescue Skin Paste. And this stuff is awesome. This is supposed to be like, um, it's supposed to help with redness and let's see here. Well, it doesn't really say, but it's supposed to help with redness, uh, sensitivity and things like that. This is a really, really thick cream and you're supposed to put it on in like a thick layer and then rub it in and then sleep in it. And you can see just how thick that is it's it's really really thick super super moisturizing um, so this is the mask that I go to when I really like when my skin feels really really parched and dehydrated in fact I'm probably gonna wear this one tonight because this is it like literally transforms your skin overnight and it really does help with redness it's really really nice so that is the number seven laboratories Sicker Rescue skin paste. So I have one um, skincare device. I keep it in this little package just to keep it all kind of together and nice. But this is one of those. Um, this is the PMD uh, microderm 
kind of skincare tool. My husband uses this more than I do. I like it, it's okay. I just don't feel like I, I don't know, I don't feel like it gives me the kind of exfoliation that I'm looking for. Um, I may need to go with like a more coarse disc, but I'm scared to do that because my skin is so sensitive. Um, but yeah, I always feel like after I use this, I need to go in with like a, like a, um, an exfoliating cleanser to try to get the rest of the skin off. Um, I don't know. I just don't think that this thing is worth it for the price. It's quite expensive. I think I got mine on sale for maybe a hundred dollars. Um, but yeah, but this, my husband has been loving this thing. He's been using it a ton more than me. Uh, it's helped get rid of some scarring he had on his, the tops of his cheeks and on the sides. Um, it's just really been great for him. He is hardcore though. He goes in with like the red coarse coarse like the coarsest discs you can and he goes to town with it and it's been really great for him but um, not so much for me. I do have a micro needle on the way though which I'm super excited to try. I've heard really really great things about micro needling and um, yeah my mom has been watching a ton of YouTube videos on it and she said that it's like basically amazing so I'm really excited to try some micro needling. Um, but anyways, last but not least, I've got some lip products. These are some lip products that I wear at night. Um, I'll start with this one that I picked up from uh, TJ Maxx, and I had wanted this one forever. I could not believe it when I found it there. This is the Nooni Apple Butter Lip Mask, moisturizing, moisturizing, moisturizing and softening. And this is just a really, really nice, thick... Um, lip mask. I really, really enjoy this one. And then I also, like everybody else, I have uh, the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask, and I've got this one, and then I've got another little baby one. Um, they came in like little, I don't know, sample kits or something, but yeah, so this one is great. I love the way this one smells. This makes your lips really, really shiny, so this is not only great for sleeping, but it's really, really nice for throughout the day. It just looks really, really nice on your lips. Um, it feels really good. It's just a really good lip treatment, lip product that I adore. So that is the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. And then my all-time favorite lip product like ever to sleep in if I feel like my lips are just dry um, is the Bite Beauty Agave Plus. This is the Agave Nighttime Lip Therapy. This is the best stuff ever. I got this. Um, I got this last year in a little Christmas kit, and you really a little goes a long way. So you can see, I really have not used that much in a year um, because a little goes a long way. It's just a super super nice lip mask. It wears off really nicely. It doesn't have any kind of a weird stickiness or tackiness to it. Um, it's just really, really nice. That's what I've got on my lips right now. Just a really, really nice lip mask. So anyways, guys, I know it took me forever to get this video filmed for you, but I finally did. I've gotten so many questions about my skincare, and I hope that that helps answer some of those questions. Um, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave, and I will see you in my next one. Bye.